Hi everyone! In today's tutorial, we'll be looking at graphical work ordering. We're going to cover staging and shipping of material. This tutorial will also highlight some of the features now available in the new graphical work order program in Rollmaster. To start, we're going to head to Sales Processing, Order Entry. From here, you can either type in a job number or double click on any order, which will take you straight into the job. To access Graphical Work Order, just click on Functions and pick New Graphical Work Order. Always make sure that you have a graphical printer selected in order to take advantage of the graphical options. Uh, so make sure you do that. And then from here in the Work Order Maintenance screen, we're going to have some items to look at. And you're going to want to check these before completing the work order process. So up here at the top, we see Job Status. This can be changed from the screen. So if in the event you needed to change the job status, go ahead and do that. However, you will be prompted to save the changes. So as you see this button kind of highlighted in red, go ahead and click that if you do desire to change that job status. Now looking down further on the screen, you will need to make a selection at the mode. The mode will determine what is happening to the lines which you're work ordering. And you have three options here. Now by default, the mode is going to be set at stage. But first we're going to take a look at pre-staged. So pre-staged here on the left can be thought of almost as a pick ticket. If you were to select pre-stage, as you see, it just pops you straight into the screen. This is your print preview um, screen for your work order and pre-staged items. Everything is selected for you. So in pre-staging, there's no need to have to go through and manually select. It's going to be done for you. While we're in this work order print preview screen, we're going to go over some of the options that exist here in the screen. So any assigned lines will show the role and the die lot information, the format in which you're going to uh, print this work order, number of copies, and a new feature if you have two or more copies of items to print such as work order, edocs, diagrams, there's a new collate option which is really great. And another feature for translating notes. So any job notes or comments that are found in the job can be translated to another language including Spanish. Also have the options here to show labor cost or to print an additional copy without the labor cost. From here, you can also actually change the installer. And when you do that, there is a pop-up. So if you're gonna be changing the installer, the changes don't actually take effect until you print this work order. And you can also change the install date. Uh, right here, all this can be done from the screen. And in the event you need to make any changes to the job, you can actually just click this Edit Job button and it will take you straight into that order. And now we'll take a look at some new work order features. Here on the screen, We've got some options up here at the top. You can uh, click this button right here to do a barcode lookup. And we also have access to our eDocs program from within the work order screen. And additionally, we have added an option here at the top to designate a preferred or an excluded installer based on this customer setup. Also on the screen, we have comment review. So this is very similar to that, um, which we have in our order entry screens. Here you can view any comments which pertain to these lines, which you're work ordering. If you needed to look at some past revisions which pertain to this work order, go ahead and click on that revision button. This will show you any of the past, the different modes which these um, items were work ordered under. And here, um, there's an option to only show open work orders. If you were to uncheck this box, and then click rebuild, it'll show you perhaps some of the uh, canceled phases of this job. Up here at the top we have work order type. The majority of the types will fall under the normal type. However, if you were to choose install date and then click build, now this is going to show you any of those revisions which were created strictly through assigning an install date uh, to this order. And again, that happens through our multi-date install tab. And now we're going to go back and take a look at our work order maintenance screen. Looking at selections, if you select nothing and you click continue, you will be prompted that no lines are selected, but you do have the option to print the work order only. In essence, nothing is being shipped or staged. It's literally just printing the work order as it sits right here. Now going back to our mode. So right now it's at the stage option. In this stage mode, 
you will need to select the lines in which you're staging first and then click the continue button. So we're gonna go ahead and select a couple of items here to stage. Now you can also use select all as a quicker way to, um, to select your options over here. If you do want to just quickly select all and notice here, once we hit continue, as you can see, Roll Master knew that certain lines were not applicable to be staged, meaning that some of these lines had already been staged previously. So as you can see, it only chose lines two, three, and seven. And we can also view the difference up here. Right here, it's defaulting to show selected lines only. However, if you were to uncheck this, here we see every single portion of this job. So we've got lines one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Again, we can check this to show only selected lines. Once you select print now, this will create a new revision. Now we'll take a look at what happens if we decide that we would like to ship some of these lines in this work order. If you right click on a line, you have quite a few options here, whereas you can modify the quantity of a line. You can also select it here by right clicking. You can view existing inventory, you can view the assigned inventory or the catalog item as well, if this line were to be unassigned, you can assign the line from here and you can unassign the material line as well. Line comments are also viewable through this right click option. So at this point, we have our ship mode selected. I would like to select this line and then I'll hit continue. When I do this, it gives a recap of the line number and it will also show me the roll number as well as the die lot if the material is assigned. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to choose print now. And as you can see, by printing, this shipped that line eight and a new revision has been created. Here we have the option to include a few more documents with our printed work order, such as the bill of lading, packing slips, shipping labels, and the address label. In clicking continue, and once the work order is processed, this is where the material will actually be marked as shipped in the system. On the printed document, we can see all the pertinent information such as the roll number, die lot, and shipped quantity, as well as all notes and customer information on the order.